Okay. So far, I have three videos of crystals already. <laughs> and now we're going to make a fourth. As you assume by the title, I'm going to make some crystals. This is actually something I looked into doing when I first got kind of hyped up on crystals. I was like, yo, they're so expensive. And then I was like, where can I find them or where can I make them? And then I was researching it and, you know, don't use the pencil lead in the microwave because that will make your microwave explode. Don't put a random rock in the microwave in some water because that will also make your microwave explode um, and won't even work. So they, there are a few things that are like online that says this is how you can make diamond or crystals. Basically the rock one will work if it's a geo rock but when you get kits like this they have geo rocks in them so that's why things like this create crystals. So once we make these I'm gonna ex experiment, investigate to see if it's actually a real crystal or whether it's just... Right, this includes one wooden mixing stick, one square, you know what, we'll just open it. So yeah, I got into crystals through, my mum always had crystals when I was growing up and then I found a love for history and medieval and druids and wicca and then I found a love for healing and realised that that and my history obsession go together through like crystals. It contains some chemicals which may present a hazard to health, great, health channel. Um, okay, so our mixing stick. Our instructions, our bag of crystal compounds, our two geo rocks, round display tray, square display tray. These are the geo rocks. Okay, ammonium phosphate. Let's hydrate. Another part of my weird history obsession. One, cover your work area with newspaper. Okay, so there's a new table, so I definitely need to get some newspaper. Um, I honestly don't know what I can, what I can use. Such a shame I put the recycling out, like. <gasps> no, I didn't put the recycling out. Covered. All right. I've got the plastic to cover the workstation. Wear old clothes or a smock. Old clothes. Check. Oh my god, this doesn't even fit me. Okay. Alright, I need a measuring cup. A wooden mixing stick. Hot water. Have your lab, your adult lab partner measure 50 ml hot water in your measuring cup. So, water's just boiling, and I'm gonna put a little bit of cold water into the beaker first, and then the boiling. Okay, so now we have hot water and a measuring cup. So, the water needs to be hot enough to completely dissolve chemical one. Chemical X. But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Chemical X. Okay. So 50 ml of hot water into here. Okay. That's 60. Pour three quarters of this into my measuring. Three quarters of this into this. Ta -da. Oh, how much? 
Jeszcze. Golden citrine. That's what we're going to have, the citrine. Oh, my citrine's next door. Right, three quarters of this. Mix in until completely dissolved. Base rock, display tray, crystal mix, crystal mixture. Ready. Should I put both of them in there? Okay. Now I need to sprinkle the rest of this over it. I think I left more than a third. You know, I really hope I've done this right. I haven't even tried to make this comedic. Like, I really want this to work. It was a bit too much trying to hold it and do it at the same time. So, oh, I shouldn't put that on my top. So I should have done one in each. done it now I done it too so basically I accidentally put them both in one um, and finished the steps um, but instead I just picked up the rock put it in the other and then tip the water back in it and both the rocks still have their like I can't I can't, I can't jeopardize that they still have their like sprinkly bits on top which I think is what makes a crystal it says on here on the um first aid advice to enter the contact details of your local poison centre oh yeah that's that's the one that's who who knows where their local poison centre was i didn't even know local poison centres were a thing and now they should start to grow within three to seven days it doesn't say anything about storing them that's really kind of anticlimactic but we will have a look again tomorrow to see how they do then. So this is 15 hours after we put them in here with the solution. And you can kind of see the bit that wasn't mixed properly is starting to crystallise. But you can't really see it much on the actual rock. But then on this one... You can see like all around the sides. You can kind of see how it's going to be formed, which is quite cool. Okay, this is day three. And I'm starting to think that this crystal pack and all that. Because this just kind of looks like snow. And all the water's crystallised. This, I guess it's kind of where the water's crystallised. So I don't think it's like an actual proper crystal but it, it does kind of look like a cluster it's kind of cool so it's day four now and as you can see this has completely crystallized but it kind of just looks like it's got ice and sugar on top of it i mean it's quite cool but it's not really clustery but then this one this hasn't dried up yet the rocks is these ones are hot so this is more clustery but it's white like it's not even transparent it's white um and it's meant to be like orangey um and i'm pretty sure the geo rocks had nothing to do with it because as you can see this oh this is pretty crystallized as well it's a tiny bit moist um so yeah i'm kind of thinking this is just a load of um but i don't know 
I guess they're kind of cool. They're good for kids, but like, I want like these kinds of crystals and like a cluster. It's got to be like that if it's going to be a cluster. I'm going to go with the fact that it's not real and there wasn't many instructions on that. I followed every single instruction. They didn't give me any instructions of where to keep it, um, things like that. And obviously it was meant to be golden citrine and it's white. It's not orange. It's not yellow. Um, so yeah, super disappointed in that. Science Squad crystal grow your own home kits. What's it just doing?